Miss Little. Hi, it's Miss Little and Miss Sunny back with our book of the day. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. This is your front cover. Do you remember what this is? That's right, it's your back cover. And this is that spine that holds the pages together. The title of our book today is Pig the Stinker by Erin Bladley. Pig the Stinker. Pig the Stinker. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say his personal hygiene was far from okay. He looks like he's Stinky. What do you think he smells like? Pig liked to get dirty. He frankly was rank. Rank is another word for smelly. Stinky. His paws could be frightful. His fur often sick. Hmm. He was offended by odor or smell. And if you weren't careful, he'd smell you. He'd smell you as well. Can you show me how you smell? What scents do we use? That's right, we use our sense of smell with our nose. He'd play with all kinds of unspeakable muck. Ooh, do you like to get dirty at home? And do things to make you scream. Don't do that! Yuck! He leaked out a stench that could not be forgotten. He reeked. He was rancid. In short, he was rotten. Ugh. So, it's bath time! You stinky old mutt, you need a good clean. From your ears all the way down to your feet. But Pig turned his tail, and before you could grab it, he was out of the room like a foul little rabbit. He was really fast. They chased him, but Pig had a devious snap for ducking and weaving and doubling back. Whew, he was fast. How fast are you? And once, he had lost him. He used a small toy to block the pipes. He was really smart. Then he hooted with joy. <laughs> By the time they had found him, Pig Boogie with the glee. You won't get your soapy old water on me. <gasps> oh, that silly old dog. They watch as Pig gloated. They watch as Pig crowed. They watch as pigs plan made the bathroom. What do you think happened to the bathroom? That's right, it exploded. Oh, has your bathroom ever exploded? These days it's different. I'm happy to say, if you tell pig it's bath time, he won't disobey. But although you can wash him with soap, clothes, and a towel, there's no getting around it. That doggy breath bath. Pig just is foul. The end. Good morning song. Hi guys, so we are going to do our good morning song. So stand up and join us. Ready? Good morning, good morning, hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning, hello and how are you? It's greeting time. Hi, it's Miss Little and Miss Sunny back with your greeting. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. 
Come on, I'm gonna join you how we greet each other at Young Innovators in Oviedo, Florida. I have this board and it's five different ways that I can show you how we greet each other. So come on, I'm gonna show you. Today, our first one is gonna be a fist bump. Put your arm out like this, use your muscles and smile and wave. We have our handshake, our high five, and don't forget that amazing hug. Put your hand out like this and you squeeze. Miss Sunny, how do you want to be greeted today? Hmm, I think I like a high five. High five? Miss Little, how would you like to be greeted? I want to do a hug today. So we're going to put our hands out like this and hug. You at home, how do you want to be greeted? In our great country, the United States of America, we love to teach you guys about what we're learning about our country. Do you guys know who our current president is? I do. It's Donald Trump. Do you know who our first president is? George Washington. And what is your favorite president of the United States of America? Ms. Little, who's your favorite president? I will say my favorite president was Abraham Lincoln. Who is your favorite president? I would like to say John F. Kennedy is my favorite president. Who's your favorite president? It's time for the pledge. Hi, this is Miss Little back with the pledge. And this is Miss Sunny. Go ahead and stand up and we're gonna say the pledge. Miss Sunny, what hand do you put on your heart? Your right hand. Do you know which one your right hand is? That's right. Go ahead and place it on your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, it's Miss Little and Miss Sunny back with our calendar. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Today we're gonna stand up, so at home, join us. And we're gonna go ahead and get some movement out. I wanna see those stretches, so make sure we're gonna stretch our arms long, and we're gonna touch our toes. But how many times do we have to touch our toes, Miss Sunny? Three. Three. Can you at home show me the number three? That's right, the number three. So we're gonna go ahead and start up here at one, two, and three. Great job. It's story time. So this week's story is Jack and the Beanstalk, illustrated by Gavin Scott. This is the front cover, this is the back of the book, and this is our spine. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready at home? Jack and the Beanstalk, illustrated by Gavin Scott. Once there was a boy named Jack who lived with his mother. They were very, very poor and had to sell their cow to get money for food. As he was taking the cow to the market, Jack met an old man. You won't get much money for this such cow, said the old man to Jack. But I can give you something better for money for her. Hmm, magic beans. He held out his hand and showed Jack five speckled beans. Magic beans. Did you hear that? They're magic beans. They sound very exciting. He gave the old man the cow and took the beans, thanking the man politely. Then he went home to his mother. So let's thank each other politely. Say, thank you. Thank you. Jack's mother was extremely cross, meaning she was upset. Silly boy, she shouted. Thanks to you, we have no cow and no money. She threw the 
beans out the window and sent Stra Jack straight to bed. Say, oh no, oh no. The next morning, Jack was astonished, meaning he was amazed at what he saw out of the window. A giant beanstalk has sprung up while he was sleeping and it stretched up all the way to the sky. Jack ran outside and he began to climb the beanstalk. So can you guys at home get up and practice climbing your beanstalk? I can. you show them this little? Yes. Climb, 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 climb. Good job. Up and up and up. He went higher and higher till he reached the top. There he found a road which led to a really big house. Jack's tummy was rumbling with hunger, so he knocked on the large wooden door. Knock, knock. A giant woman answered. She looked kind, and Jack asked if she would let him have some breakfast. You will be breakfast if my husband finds you. She told Jack, he's much bigger than me, and he eats children. But Jack begged and pleaded, and at last, the, little, the large woman let him in. She gave him some bread and milk and hid him in the cupboard. So she was protecting Jack. That was really nice, Miss Sunny. That Sunny's. was really nice of her. Soon, Jack heard very loud footsteps and felt it in the cupboard. The giant man was coming. Jack heard him roar. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Don't be silly, the giant's wife said. You smell the sausages I cooked for breakfast. Now sit down and let's eat. Miss Sunny, I see beans. Those are beans. And she has sausages. Mmm, sounds very yummy. After wolfing down three large plates of sausages, the giant asked his wife to bring him his gold. She brought two big sacks filled with gold coins, which the giant began to count. But he was sleepy after that big gold breakfast, so he began to snore. Jack crept up out of the cupboard and grabbed one of the socks then he rushed out of the house, along the road, and straight back down the beanstalk. So Jack took the gold coins, and they weren't here. Was that nice? I don't think it was nice, Miss Sunny. It was not nice. Do Let's you see. think it was nice? Let's see what happens. Jack's mother was overjoyed to see him. She was even happier when she saw all those gold coins. They lived well while the money lasted, but after a year, it had all been spent. Once again, Jack and his mother had nothing to eat. Don't worry, mother, said Jack. I'll just go back up the beanstalk to the giant's house. And so he did. Just as before, Jack knocked on the door and begged the giant's wife for something to eat. Go away, she told him. The last time you were here, a sack of gold disappeared. My husband was really cross, meaning he was upset. But once again, Jack begged and he pleaded, and one last time she let him in. She gave him some bread and milk and she hid him in the cupboard. Soon, the giant stumped and bellowing. Fee, fine, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Nonsense, said the giant's wife. You smell this yummy soup I made for lunch. Peeping through a crack in the cupboard, Jack saw the giant slurp down a big bowl bare full of soup and heard him tell his wife, bring me my hen. He sounds like he's very upset. She put it fat red hen on the table and shouted, Lay! To Jack's amazement, 
the hen laid a golden egg. Jack waited till the giant was asleep. Can you snore with me? Just like that. Good job, guys. Then he jumped out and snatched the hen. Fast as lightning, he dashed out of the house, along the road, and down the beanstalk. A second, can I go down the beanstalk? Of course, would you like to try? Sure. Show me how you go down the beanstalk. You at home, join me. Great awesome. job. Awesome. Jack and his mother lived very well on the money they made from the hen's golden eggs. But Jack wanted to climb the beanstalk one last time. He knew the giant's wife would not let him in again. So when she wasn't looking, he sneaked into the house and crawled into the cupboard. Before long, the giant came crashing in. Fee, fi, fo, bum. I smell the blood of an Englishman, he thundered. You smell the steaks I cooked for dinner, his wife said. And she put a platter of thick, juicy steaks right in front of him. Those do look yummy. After gobbling up all the steaks, the giant took out a golden harp and he said, Sing! The harp played a very gentle lullaby and soon the giant was fast asleep. Jack sprang out the cupboard, took the harp and began to run. But the harp cried, Master! Master! And the giant woke up. With a roar, he leaped up and ran after Jack. Holding the harp tightly, Jack ran for his life. As he scrambled down the beanstalk, he yelled, Mother! Mother! Raise the axe! Jack took the axe and started to jump, jump down the beanstalk. The giant quickly climbed back up to the top before it snapped in two. That was the last time Jack saw him. With the hen and the harp, Jack and his mother were able to live happily ever after. And they were never, ever hungry again. The end. Thank you so much for joining us in reading Jack and the Beanstalk. It's weather time. So join us for our weather song. Are you ready, Miss Lou? I'm ready. Are you ready at home? Come join us. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it cold? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it cold? Hi, it's Miss Little and Miss Sunny back with your weather here in Oviedo, Florida at Young Innovators, we know that it's sunny outside, but I don't know what it is in your home. Can you tell us what it is where you live? Miss Sunny, when you go outside in sunny weather, what is your favorite thing to do? Hmm, well, I usually love to take a nice stroll, but since we can't now, we just run around in our backyard. How about you, Miss Little? My favorite thing is to go in my backyard and do my favorite thing, yoga. Hi, it's Miss Little back with yoga time. Today we are going to do one of the easiest stretches there is. So at home, I want you to join me today. So we're going to put our hands up because we have to stretch our bodies first before we begin. Bring your hands down. Namaste. So, with our pretzel, we have to remember, it might look easy, but you have to remember, if you don't feel it inside of your body, you're not doing it right. So, if you crisscross applesauce, pick your back up, straight up. Remember, 
you are still breathing. And to remind yourself, if you're not breathing, just place your hand right here on your chest and take a deep breath. Let's do it together. Join me. Great job. Do you feel more relaxed? I know I do. Go ahead, do your pretzel pose, and I want you to stretch that back. And you're gonna take this arm right here, and you're gonna move it to the left, and you're gonna grab your other arm, and we can hold it and count from five, four, three, two, one. Remember, you're breathing. Put your hands back. April 3rd, you are going to search for rhyming words like Jack, Sack, Bean, and Mean. For math, we're going to see how high can you count with gold coins. And if you don't have gold coins, improvise and you can draw them. For art, you're going to paint a boiled egg. But don't forget to ask mommy and daddy if you can paint a boiled egg. For STEM or Makerspace, you're going to test out those eggs that you built with your egg drop. For Friday's Roast Motor, you're going to get on up and you're going to test on your balance beam. So, use your feet in balance. If you don't have a balance beam, you can use tape on the floor or you can use a broom. It's learning through exercise time. Words with the gospel sound. Show me there's a game we play. Move to the words that I say. G is our letter, and I'll bet you know. Words that start with G. Let's go. Go. Show me how you try like a goat. Chat like a goat. Gorilla. Show me how you growl like a gorilla. Growl like a gorilla. Gallop. Show me how you gallop like a horse. Hey. I gallop like a horse. Giggle, let me hear you giggle. <laughs> I like to giggle. Guitar, show me how you play your guitar. I love to play guitar. Grass, show me how you mow the grass. Mowing grass is a chore. Show me is a game we play. Move to the words that I say. Gums, show me gums that hold your teeth. Healthy gums will hold your teeth. Grumpy, show me a grumpy face. Why? I got a grumpy face. Grin, show me a smile with a grin. See this grin? It's so wide. Go, go to the ground. I go down to the ground. Gardener, show me how Gardener picks vegetables. Gardener picks the vegetables. Grip, show me how you grip a handle. Grip that handle. Show me is a game we play. I repeat each word, do what I say. Goat, chat like a goat. Gorilla, growl like a gorilla. Gallop, gallop like a horse. Giggle, I like to giggle. Guitar, play your guitar. Grass, mow the grass. Gums, melt the gums, hold your teeth. Grumpy, grumpy face. Grin, I got. special shout out to my partner in crime at work is Miss Raquel. I miss you a lot. And we have Miss Dami. Want to give a special thank you to Stefan. So if you have anybody out there that you want to say thank you to, please send it in. 
We hope you enjoyed this circle time today. So do not forget to join us at 4.30 on Zoom. We would love to hear all your input and see all the great activities you did. Do not forget to like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Young Innovators Academy.